Hi, this is Tom from Image Music in Bolton. I'm here today to show you the Yamaha U1 silent piano. Uh, now this is a fantastic piano for anyone who is unsure if they're after maybe a digital piano or an acoustic piano. It's pretty much a mix of both for you. Uh, so the great thing about this is it's something that you can be used as a silent piano, but you've still got the option of acoustic piano. So if you look inside here, at the top of the piano, you've still got the hammers and everything in there to give you that acoustic piano feel. Um, it's all controlled using an, an app called Yamaha Smart Pianist, which has got loads of sounds and loads of things you can do with it. So I'll, um, I'll give you a quick kind of rundown of that. So when you go onto the app, the first thing that you see is the, uh, the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand. Now this is a very popular piano that Yamaha do. It's um, kind of the top of range grand piano that they do. It's a nine foot Concert Grand up at about £130,000. Um, and the sounds of that are actually built into this. So I'll, uh, I'll show you what that sounds like. See, it sounds fantastic, and it's you know quite quite similar to your Yamaha CFX concert grand, um, and that's your, your digital piano sound as well. But the great thing is, you're obviously getting that piano feel that you get from acoustic piano as well as that sound. Um, now, the second very popular sound that's built into this is the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand. So again, this is a about a nine foot concert grand piano. Um, now, Bosendorfer was actually bought out by Yamaha as well. So a lot of the sounds that they use now from Bosendorf are kind of owned by Yamaha. Um, now Bosendorf is a bit more of a kind of mellow sounding piano. Um, so I'll show you what that sounds like. It's very nice, but again, it's a very popular sound to have built into this silent system. Um, now as well as that, there's so much more that you can do with this app. For example, you can change the the kind of background and style of the room. So if I was playing with the CFX Concert Grand, right now I'm playing in a concert hall, but I can actually change that to, you know, be in a cathedral and it just gives you a slightly different sound. <laughs> so maybe a bit more kind of reverb in there. Now, as well as that, you can actually adjust the reverb. So if I just clicked onto your settings there on the app, you've got a depth here. So I can turn the reverb right down to give you quite a quite a dry sound, so. so it doesn't give you as much reverb, but then again I can turn that all the way up to give you a lot of reverb. So as you can see there's a lot of things that you can do in terms of altering the piano sound. Um, now as well as just acoustic piano sounds, you've also got sounds like harpsichords, strings, electric piano, organ sounds. So, you know, for an acoustic piano, there's a lot of things that you can play around with on it, really. So I'll show you some of those voices. So you've got the electric piano sounds. So you've got a few built in there, which is quite, quite fun to play around with. And then as well as that, you can actually layer sounds. So you can put two sounds together. So for example, they have a few already built into this. So you've got piano and string sounds, piano and pad sounds, and piano and electric piano sounds. Um, but it's really nice because it's getting a bit of a mix of two sounds in there. So as I say with this app, there's so much that you can do with it. You can record your own songs. Um, it's super easy to make your way around the app and you can adjust the sounds and layer the sounds and all sorts of stuff. Um, but the great thing is that a lot of people tend to forget is you've got all them fantastic features of a digital piano but it's still an acoustic piano. So if I turn the sound system down, all I need to do is just put the pedal back to the middle and what that'll do is it'll move this bar inside. So usually what happens is if you put the pedal down to make it a silent mode, the bar will move so the hands don't hit the strings. Um, but then if I put it back down, then it's just turned back to your, your normal acoustic piano. But I'll show you that. Uh, 
Yeah, so it really is a fantastic piano. Um, and as I say, if you're not too sure if you want a digital or a grand because of the action inside of the piano, a, a big thing to remember is, you know, if you're not too sure on a digital because, you know, you want that exact, you know, acoustic piano action, then, you know, this has got that. It's got the digital piano functions, but then as well as that, you've got the acoustic piano action. And you can't really say it's not because it, it is an acoustic piano, which is a fantastic thing. Um, but as I say, we've got, you know, a range of um, silent pianos here at the Bolton shop. Uh, ranging from the B1 silent up to the, to the U1 silent. So you're more than welcome to come down. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.